With rumors of many post offices closing, it may make you wonder, should you still use the Postal Service, or is email the way to go? News 10's Rondra Moore finds out. Aunt Jane, thank you so much for the birthday gift you got me, and it has meant so much to me. Write in the question and click to get an answer. Which one is better, letters, envelopes, and stamps, or keyboards, screens, and mice? Nowadays, many are saying this. I use email most. With uh, regular mail, you have to get a help pen and paper, so email is much easier. But there's still a few who say this. I guess I'm from old school. I prefer the hard copy. I send um, birthday cards, but I always send them through the mail. I don't, I don't email them. Both sides have their benefits. A heartfelt handwritten note gets the message just right, but it's hard to argue against the convenience of email. So which one is better? With recent economic trouble for the Postal Service, you'd think email, but Shana Kapaszewski says it all depends. In some ways, to each their own. You want to live by the Postal Service? Go ahead and live by the Postal Service. She's a professor at ISU and an expert in cultural communication. She says it's okay to do either one as long as you're communicating. As for the state of the Postal Service's future, I don't think it'll go away completely. I think that there is still some sort of social significance. So folks like Glenda don't have to give up their traditional mail yet, but even she's fine with change. Anything else you wanted to add about email or traditional mail or anything like that? No, but the computer's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Choosing to put her stamp of approval on both choices. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Nick Nabesny, Rondrell Moore, News 10. Now, experts say we'll most likely see traditional mail fused with email in the future.